You know what? This cowboy right here, Ty Brewer, hottest cowboy out there leading the world standings. He's going for it. What a ride. Got his toes turned out. That horse will just keep kicking through the ride. The cowboy from Marshall, Missouri, has drawn a Corco horse called Onion Ring. And here is a man who is at his second American. And like you said, he has started off this new season really well. Momentum's everything in rodeo. And when he gets going right here, look at him. He's ahead of the horse. He's beating him to the ground. He's got his toes turned back, making a full drag back to his rigging. Awesome. That's how you want to start right there. Yes, it is. It, it is a great score. 86 and a half. You know why? He's never afraid to just let it all hang out. He tries to go for first every time. And I have a feeling we're going to see it again right here. Good horse. Got his feet set. He's lifting on that rig, and he's got, see him get those feet set and then drag them back up the rig. I love it. By the time they get back down, he has time to hold them, reset, and lift up on that, uh, on that rig and make a great ride. I love it. This guy, Wyatt. Wyatt Denny from Nevada, three times the national finals rodeo. His mom was a competitive skier. His dad was a competitor at the top level in motocross. This guy, don't matter whether he's riding bareback horses, whether he's in the cowboy downhill at Steamboat or playing checkers, he wants to win. Her and this pain have magic. Are the state champions two years in a row in South Dakota? Puts a time in. She just so. stuck it on one here, boy. Wow. And it all started, Bobby, with the start. <laughs> <laughs> she Baby. nailed that start. She was aggressive with her swing. You can watch in, the, watch in the replay how she's kicking and swinging. She's ahead of the game right Look there. Look where that first swing is. It's oh, driven down there, and she's got some power on it. She snapped it off that neck. Caleb Driggers and Junior Nogata, the defending champions of the American. Caleb Driggers owns this event here, and Junior pulls off his shot. Bobby, that, that, was a, that wasn't the shot safe like you were talking about. That's just how he rolls. That is so. how he heals. Big open loop. Bobby stands on the ground. You know what, Driggers? I thought Driggers was smart right there, Bobby. He rode across there. He wasn't looking for the throw. Snapped it on him. Tight. Made it look easy. Good job, Ty. Thank you. Got Gunther from Alberta. He whacks. He whacks one finally. He, he really takes one down in 448 and takes the lead, moves to the number one spot for the Provost Alberta man. Yeah, another great run. Scott Gunther right here. Good start. That barrier hits his horse's chest. We finally get one lined up like we want. Everything was in the perfect position. Scott just chases that nose down the arena, and I've said it over and over. He's Really pulling that steer around. 2017 PRCA World Champion is a 19-year-old, the youngest saddle grown riding world champion. And he's got rich in fancy. He can just, it just seems like for a guy with really short legs, he can get his, his feet further up in the neck than anybody. And fast. He has got tremendously fast feet and turns his toes out. I mean, very impressive watching him ride, and he gets with it right from the start, too. And you can watch him lift on this rein right here. Look at that horse's head. That horse's head moves a pile right there, and he's just staying up underneath it, making a great ride with that rein and using his feet. They're trying to build that back of the box up because, like we talked about earlier, it is lower. There's a hole back there. Jake Brown got a great start, and he's got one caught and set up to tie him about 7 3. This Look is going to be fast this. right here. Look at it's this. Six, eight. How about that? Oh. Half a second he clicked off me. Joe, would that be classified as dirty fast That's right there? That's dirty work right there, boy. <laughs> you know, and here's the deal where these calves are picked, they're chosen, they're a great set of calves. They're going to tie them fast. Barrel racing as we welcome you to the competition and we are off and running with our first contestant danielle campbell joins me a three-time qualifier to the wrangler national finals and kylie weist is our first barrel racer and she will set the pace with a 14 398 here it is chase outlaw going up against johnny thunder Looks like it might whip him down. No, that's just going to make him mad. That's just going to make him maybe rear back and spur a little bit to finish off this ride. He's scratching, he's clawing, and he's there. Chase Outlaw continues his role after coming back in mid-October after that July disaster in Cheyenne. He came back uh, in October, immediately went right into winning. He won the Velocity Tour Finals, and boy, Chase Outlaw is living up to his 2019 new life, and everything is going his way.